Welcome to Guys on the Pie. We're the two guys, and we are headed to beautiful, historic downtown Coco Village. Why are we heading to Coco Village, guy? We're going to Pub Americana. They serve a stone oven pizzette. Yes, it's a pizzette. It, it's a one-person pizza. Um, so, Pub Americana, we're coming for you. See you there. on the outside and fluffy on the inside. I really enjoyed this this pie. Uh, other guy, you had the uh, Cabana. What, what do you think of your Cabana? Well, here's the thing. When these uh, little pizzettas come out, it looks small. They come on a little cutting board. It's got Pub Americana engraved into it. And uh, you just get a feeling that uh, you're gonna, you're gonna leave hungry. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not the case. Um, now the Cubano, I, honestly, I didn't know what to think. Uh, my expectations were low. Uh, they were greatly exceeded. Uh, the pulled pork on this sandwich. Sandwich. Ah, <laughs> see, I'm sorry, it's like it's pulled pork on this pizza. It had this nice, sweet flavor. Now they say it's homemade, and I'm gonna believe that because uh, they also say they have the homemade sauce. And we'll get to the sauce in a second. But the, uh, the nice sweetness in that pulled pork mixes well with the saltiness of the ham and that tanginess of those sliced pickles that are on there. And then you mix that with the creaminess of the cheese, the nice fluffy uh, dough that's on this, and then that sauce that has, the only way I can describe it is it, it's, it's a rustic flavor. This marinara sauce, it's a nice, uh, robust tomato. I, for some reason, beefsteak tomatoes come into mind. I don't know why, but that's that's kind of the flavor I'm getting from this sauce. And it tastes like they make it fresh daily. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to taste the sauce. Because the, it, it kind of hid, I don't want to say it hid, but it blended in with all that meat. I was too busy enjoying all that meat. I'm a carnivore. Right? Carny was perfect for me. Pub Americana is this uh, really cool, uh, almost 
almost like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Easy? Yes, it's got a speakeasy feel. And uh, they used to have a bar upstairs that was a jazz club, but it was a speakeasy. Um, the blind line. Yeah. Uh, but it's got this really cool vibe, old, old pictures on the wall, brick walls, uh, Prohibition era photos, Marilyn Monroe, a bunch of older celebrities. Uh, all in black and white with your typical bar uh, type of size. Full liquor bar. And uh, they are very uh, inviting. You, you just kind of feel comfortable in there. The service was amazing. Uh, I, I couldn't have been happier with the service. They were a little bit busy, and I watched the servers hus server was hustling from table to table. Everybody seemed to take well taken care of. They did a great job. I, I really was impressed with the service. Uh, the food, like I said, was amazing. Uh, I really enjoyed my visit today to Pub Americana. It's definitely a place that I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to, and I recommend other people to come here too. You you cannot you won't be you won't be led astray to go to Pub Americana. If you're in the area, definitely come to Pub Americana because it was it was just fantastic. Yeah. So most important thing, I would that. What do you get? Pub Americana. Those tiny little pizzetta. What do you give? Home Americana present the Cubana. Well, you didn't have a Cubana. Had the carne. Had the carne. I looked at your Cubana. It looked pretty good. Yeah, I, I wasn't giving you one Cubana. <laughs> I know you were. Uh, I did offer you a slice, though. I did offer you a slice. Yeah, but I knew what you were doing. You were fishing for a slice of the Yep, Cubana. I was. I already know. <laughs> I was going to do it. Uh, so what do you give your carne as a rating? I give it a five. It did look good, and I, I can't speak to that, but I can speak to the Cubana, and with, like I said, that sweet, savory pulled pork with that the saltiness of that ham, the tanginess of the pickle, the creaminess of the cheese, the robustness, rustic flavor of those tomatoes, and the fluffiness of that dough, I'm going to give the Cubano my very own. for Pope Americana. Uh, we can't speak of anything else, but we can speak of those pizzetta, and it, it was filling. So, as always, you know, leave a comment, like, subscribe, tell us where you want us to go next. And um, the way we finish every, every pepperoni report, love and pizza slice. Taking a nice drive down by the river.